How is it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to my intergalactic adventure series here in modded Minecraft. In the last episode, we went out exploring on the surface of Mars here and unfortunately we met with a couple of uh, nasty mishaps. What happened was uh, a creeper blew up our Mars rover, our buggy, so uh, we had to uh, find our way back on foot without any marker. <laughs> And also, uh, we went down into a cave and got attacked by, like, a, uh, a sludgling infestation. Sludgling being these little tadpole-looking creatures that, uh, kind of killed Mr. Wiggles and, uh, tried to kill me as well. But, along the way, we came across a little gold-colored slimeling here who has, uh, actually helped defend me from the, uh, sludgelings. And is my new companion. So we're going to give her a name. Uh, right now she is on uh, 5.0 damage. So full damage strength. I decided not to grow her too much. Because I kind of like her small like this. And uh, yeah. So she wants some. Uh, she wants to eat some redstone repeaters. <laughs> Very strange appetites these creatures. But we're going to give her a name. So I've been thinking about this a little bit. And come up with. Uh, the name will be N Jelly Jelly Car. Get it? Because she's made of slime jelly. Yeah, it's a pretty bad name, but never mind. <laughs> I apologize. Anyway, yeah, she's uh she's probably gonna come with us on our on our next trip, but I might leave her outside any dangerous caves or locations that we come across. But we are gonna have have to head back to Earth, unfortunately, because I'm going to have to build a new um buggy. Well, I don't have to. I could walk around everywhere like an idiot, but we're not gonna be doing that. So uh I guess I'll have to take this stuff back because I don't have the materials, well, if you look, what I need is a NASA workbench, and they require an advanced wafer. I don't think I have any of these, let's just have a look. Yeah, I don't have an advanced wafer, and we need the circuit fabricator to actually make one of those, so the circuit fabricator is back on Earth, I mean, I'm not sure I can make a circuit fabricator, let's just have a look here. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. What am I missing? Well, that's easy. You know what? We can actually make one of these things. We might be able to do this. Let's just um, put that down there. Can we... Let's see. Put it like that. And we need to rotate that. Let's get my tools out. Where's my wrench? There it is. Rotate that. Oops. That's weird that it's got that like symbol on the side. <laughs> okay, and then we need um actually I should have some in here, I think. One of these. That should yeah, that's got power going. So to make this wafer. We need a diamond, we need a redstone repeater, silicon, and redstone. Well, I guess it's um, Angelica's lucky day because I've got a redstone repeater for her. Let's just heal her up. I think she's at full health. Okay, so this goes in here. Then we need the silicon. Oops. Uh, silicone. And we needed a diamond. We might save ourselves a trip back to Earth if we can get this all put together here on Mars. And I think that was redstone, wasn't it? Yes. Success. Hopefully we have everything else we need. That would be pretty awesome. Come on, come on, you can do it. There we go. Beautiful. So, NASA workbench. 
What else do we need? Crafting table? Super easy. Surprised they didn't have any in there. Compressed steel. Uh, oh no, I've got enough of that. What, what's this down here? Why have I got hardly any redstone torches? While I'm at it, I'll make some glowstone torches because we're nearly out of those. Well, we're not nearly out, but I'm going to need a ton of them. If we're going to be exploring anything. Let's make another couple of stacks. I've still got a fair bit of glowstone left. Cool. I made up some more batteries for my um, Tesla gun as well. Uh, all right, NASA workbench. Bam. Now, where will we put this thing? This thing is pretty big. It needs a fair bit of space. I might... Oh, but I haven't got the schematic. I don't think. Unless it recognizes that I have it on Earth. Let's put it in this room, maybe. Let's try and find the center block there. That should be enough space for it. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it's showing these. Yeah, cool. So it recognizes that I've already put them in the one on Earth, which is good. So, all right. So um, the trouble is, I'm not sure if I have enough of all the other stuff that I need to make the buggy. But I mean, we have everything we need here right now to um, to like compress the the metals and stuff. So buggy, 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 buggy. So we need one of those. We need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these heavy duty plates. We need some buggy wheels. Can we make these up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That thing. All right, we need some more compressed steel. Oh, God damn it, man. Maybe I can, maybe I can, um, uncraft these things in the uncrafting table. I don't think I have enough XP, though. That gives us a little bit. How about this? Seven, seven XP. XP. You know what I should have done? Is I should have put some of the XP into like um into like bottles and kept it in here, but I didn't think I would need it because I it's back in my base on earth. But what's it called? What's it actually called? XP it's not called XP, it's something essence. Think, no. Essence berry bush. That's not it. It's called Experience orbs, experience bottle of o bottle o enchanting. I don't have any though, do I? Creosote. Hmm, I could go out and kill some mobs, <laughs> but maybe that's enough. Still, we've got six still, and for the for the seat. We needed five. All right. So we just need to compress this. Why is that not working? Uh, still compressed. What? Iron? Really? Well, that's even easier. Oh, hang on. No, it's not really because we have to compress the iron. Fortunately, I, ha I have compressed iron, though. And then we needed coal, wasn't it? So we only need five of these things. Go! Oops. Get that going. And we needed how many of those how many of those um those things did we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven heavy duty plate. 
Oh, good. I didn't think I had enough of that left. 11 of those. We should actually be able to do this. Oh, this is out of power now. That's not a good sign. I should have... Oh, this Does this take uh, Galacticroft power? Let's go have a look at what's going on over here. That's still got energy in it. A lot of energy. But... Um, th these are all empty. Why isn't that? They are not filling up. Um, Oh, there we go. That's weird. Alright, well, we should have enough energy now. <laughs> there we go, we have our five. Hopefully I'm not going to craft the wrong thing this time like I did when I was trying to make the um, armor up. And we've got one compressed iron, and this is all compressed steel. Boom! Okay, we've got the wheels, we've got that. I think we have everything we need to put together this, this new buggy. And we're hopefully going to keep this buggy away from mobs. Before we head out, what I might do is use the um, cryogenic chamber so that we can... Um, so that we can avoid the mobs that come out when it's dark, at least for a while. The, the day-night cycle is very short here on Mars, so... Uh, we not, we'll probably eventually have to put up with them, but... Bam! Alright, we got a new buggy. Of course we'll have to refuel this one. <laughs> I don't have a lot of fuel either, because I have a limited supply here on Mars. Put that down, and load fuel. So, I mean, there's a fair bit in there. It doesn't look like much, but that's actually a fair bit right there. Um, you can see it's not going down very much, and the buggy is probably fully fueled. So, I think we are actually good... To go and I have let's just um, get rid of the gravity tool so I have plenty of ammo I've got more in here I've got two spare tanks and the Vajra let's just charge that up um, I've got two stacks of glowstone torches the Tesla gun some food that's probably all that we'll need to uh, to bring with us so let's head out again and do a bit more exploring now that we have a new buggy. Actually, before I do, because of the power issues, like uh, almost all of my power cells are empty now, I might actually disconnect this while I'm away so I can hopefully get that charging up in my absence. Where did that thing go? That's weird. Is it up here somewhere? It just vanished. I mean, I got tons of that stuff. It's just very strange. Yeah, hopefully, um, because these are getting charged by the Tesseract um, while I'm away. Let's just check this here. So that should be that's draining into these now. <laughs> that's but yeah, this should be charging these up while I'm away. Alrighty, well we went west. What's going on with my mini map? We need to change the type of terrain that's displaying. And I can't remember. I can't remember the... Oh, there we go. 
can't remember which key it was. Actually, while I'm at it, you know what I should do? Is I should put a waypoint down. Um, if I can remember. Waypoint. Add base Mars. This one we can get rid of. Um, okay, so that'll, I mean, that'll only last for, you know, until I load the game up again, but it's better than nothing. So let's just turn that off. All right, so we went, we went west. We might actually head north. Why not? It's as good as, oh no. You know what I forgot to do? Before we head off anywhere, <laughs> Let's just use the cry cryogenic chamber because I'm pretty sure that it's dark right now. And I do not want to get my new buggy blown up again. Alright, sleeping through the Martian night. And uh, we're good. Plus, if we die, we'll be able to respawn back there. Okay. <laughs> Let's start over. I can see there's a meteorite up there, but we can always get that later. Let's go. Let's do this. Determined to find a Martian dungeon this time. These buggies do not like climbing hills, but at least they do go up. At least they do go up hills. I've never seen over this rise before. This is all new. Oh, there's a creeper over there. What the hell, man? This is daylight. Shouldn't be any creepers. This is interesting terrain. But at least we don't have all the other mobs. Keep an eye out for uh, the dungeons, of course. Come on, get up this hill. There's got to be a dungeon somewhere out there, man. We'll come across one eventually. Let's try and stick to the flats as much as we can. Not going down in any of those caves anytime soon. Unless I need to find some more dash, but... We got a fair bit of dash. Just out of that last cavern that we found. Okay, there might be something in this direction. Look at these mountains. It's really cool terrain generation here on Mars. Maybe nothing. Uh, let's keep heading north, though. I can see some slimeling eggs and stuff like that on the mini map. It's pretty cool how they show up. Probably because of their color they stand out. Just try and keep to the flat area as much as we can so we go faster. What's down here? Well, looks like it's just a bit of rough terrain. So maybe we'll head east for a little bit around this way. Yeah, there's probably like a cave down there or something. We'll loop around and sort of head south, I think, and and sort of scout out that area to the east of the base. Let's just have a look out here first. Nothing. At least it's a fairly flat area. Yeah, well, we might head, start heading south as soon as we... See what's just through here a little bit. There's a huge cave over there. That's interesting. Maybe we should go check that out. I don't know exactly what the Martian dungeons look like, but unless that's the entrance to one, it could just be a cave. Come on, get around here. 
It's just through here, I think. Just over here. That's weird. Is it at the top of this mountain? There's another slimeling egg. I haven't seen that color before. Red. I don't think there's any difference between the different colors of slimelings. I think it's just cosmetic. Hang on a second. I didn't actually see. Let's just take a look. I didn't actually see the, um, the cave, whatever it was. Unless this was it here. Hmm. It, it seemed to disappear. It's probably just that. It's probably just those holes or something. Anyway. Yeah, we'll start heading south now. Get over here. And then we'll loop back around. Um, maybe... Yeah, we, we, might, we might head around south of the base... And then head back towards it once we, once we start running out of oxygen. But I've still got two full oxygen tanks. So we should have a fair bit of time to explore still. Uh, I don't really want to go down there. Let's, let's head east for a bit here around this mountain range. Well, it's not really a range, but peak. There's another one over there. Another really big one, I think. With that, that's pretty cool. But, no dungeons. I mean, I came across a few of them on, on the moon. You'd think they would be of similar um, rarity here on Mars. I'm just not a very patient person, I guess. <laughs> Something over there, maybe. What's that? Is that a is that a hole? No. No. Nothing to get excited about. Wow, look at this area here. There's a really big like valley down there. Where's base? Back in that direction. Um. Hmm. Well, I don't really fancy trying to drive the buggy up the walls of that valley, so we'll go around it this way if we can. I think we're a fair distance now from from base. It's 900, yeah. That's quite, quite a distance. I don't usually like to go too much more than a thousand because otherwise the save file just gets too big, which can cause issues. But, oh well. I've got so many dimensions that I've explored in this playthrough that the save file is actually pretty big right now for um for this series. Man, look at this. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, oh, look. There's something over there. That's got to be a dungeon. It's got like a green thing in the middle. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this valley, but... um, It looks like it's just through here. So we might actually park... Park the buggy here. I'll put a waypoint here as well. Cool. And let's go check this out. So I might actually get Angelica to wait with the buggy. She wants to eat some boats, apparently. Um, and we want to head in this direction and see what this thing is. It, it's got to be a dungeon because it looks just, it just looks too weird. Look at that. It's got some weird green thing in the middle. I don't know what that is. 
It could just be a cave, though. Oh! No, there's some sort of green textured stone or something down there. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely a dungeon, guys. I can see a chest down there. All right. So we might actually leave this episode here for today, guys. We did finally come across a Martian dungeon, so it's going to be awesome exploring this. There should be some bosses down there and stuff like that. And we do have two full sets of oxygen tanks, so should be have enough time to go down and explore this um, before we have to head back to base. Although we are a long distance away from base as well. All right, guys. Well, please remember to rate and comment. I hope you're enjoying this series. We are getting towards the end of this series once we uh, once we finish off things here on Mars. But uh, I do have my Minecraft channel as well. And although I haven't uploaded any videos to that um, in the last couple of weeks, I will be continuing that series um, and especially spending a lot more time with that one once this one ends. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jim out.